morning and good morning we're hosting Nicola's Hands Across the Sea Samplers in my house at the today in our <laughs> conservatory so <laughs> but we make a change didn't we, we did yes I've come down to see Sue and we've just had coffee with Mark Sue's yes. husband and um, we've got lots and lots of needlework to show you today we've got past projects current projects and future projects as well oh ah, right yes and I've got mine to show you how I started in needlework yeah before I got hooked on samples that's right um, Sue's got something that she's shown me for the first oh. time this morning and it's so precious. It's a tiny little, it was out of the family bible, can you see that? Get the sun on it, Jesus wept. And it's, um, it must be over a hundred years old, it will be my oldest piece of needlework. Yeah. Um, and it was in a family bible from my mother's side of the family. And was the family recorded in the no, Bible? So you don't know how far no, back it went? No, we don't. But I imagine, well, I don't know. I think it's from Cumbria. 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 Yeah. And it's just, just in the Bible. So I look at that. It's very precious, actually, because when you're reading your Bible, um, everything about that Bible is so heartfelt yeah. and... and Means yeah. such a lot. That meant such a it lot. It did. Somebody stitched that. It's on paper as well, isn't it? Mm. On paper. Do you know what? I've had a yeah. run of paper embroidery yeah, in the that. last few weeks, and that's funny. That's another. On paper, yeah. Yeah. Because I've never really, until you said about paper, I hadn't really thought about what it was. But mm. yeah, it's a beautiful little one. So we keep that. Here we are. Okay. Um. Needlework, how we all began on our needlework mm. journey. So what was your first piece that you switched? I think, and I don't have it, but I gave my great aunties. It was um, a little lap, put it in an oval frame, and it was little violets. And then viola pansies. And yeah. the violets are very dear to me because my grandmother's name was Violet. Oh, and my nickname is Violetta. <laughs> oh, how exciting. Yeah. So, um, because my mother was Italian, yeah. um, it was sort of like Italianized. No, that's not the right word. Italianized. Anglicized. Yeah, yeah. Italianized oh, version of the other way around. And, yeah, I'm not sure if that's a proper no. word, but you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah, my first piece. Um, I was going to bring it, and then because the weather was so bad, mm. I needed to bring things that would fit in a plastic bag. Uh, my first piece was All Things Bright and Beautiful. I think it must have been a DMC or a Dimensions kit. Mm. That, and I will show that um, maybe the next time we get yeah. together yeah. at my house. Yeah. So, okay. I think I had a, a book of cross stitch patterns that somebody bought me. I think I just took it out of those and made it into something. I think gave me it for Christmas. Yeah. 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 My first one. Yeah. And of course, you did a piece of needlework for me <laughs> that you gave Rotten. to me. So this is my needlework, but Sue stitched this it. Is funny. Now, this is not my needlework. This is my piece of work. But yes, you did it. That's right. In um, fact, I think that's on paper as well. It is. It is on oh, this paper. this is spooky. Yeah. I'm sorry about the light, but it's been raining and the sun has just come out now, and we're in Sue's conservatory. <laughs> so this is the needle workshop, uh, which Sue stitched at my. Oh, that true, yeah, yeah, when you're on holiday, yeah, yeah. and she gifted it to me for Christmas. And Sue wrote on the back, Nicola and Ray, have yourself a merry little Christmas and wishing you a happy and peaceful new year. With love to you all, Susan and Mark Trewoon 2013. Mm -hmm. so, I can see it better now. Oh, that, yes, yeah. the sun's got but it. The, I've just said my Nicola got, I said, Oh, that's the funny thing is, is that when I stitched that, obviously, I knew Nicola did needlework, but I didn't re recognize how good she was oh. and that she had her business <laughs> and everything really so um don't look too but close at the stitches. Hold on a second, like Hats is going to be celebrating its six or seventh anniversary this Christmas. Oh, so you so might not have had no, Hats. No, Hats didn't exist. So oh, I feel back in the hell. Yeah. <laughs> but so, I, I remember stitching and thinking, well, rather than giving a Christmas card, I'll stitch And this is so much more, you know, mm. precious. And this sits on my dresser in my breakfast room and, you know, I see that every day. Yeah. You know, it's a very cherished gift. Well, I've kept it a long time. You have, you have, yes. There we are. Yeah. 
So that's an old piece of needlework. So what else have you got to show? Well, I've got what I used to stitch, which are, is it Mirabilia? Mirabilia. Mirabilia. Um, this is my Mermaid of the Pearls. That way, like that. It's beautiful, Sue. And that actually now sits in our downstairs toilet. Yeah, in the loo. In the loo. <laughs> <laughs> because the sort of greeny colour yeah. there is what we've done the walls in. So. Shall I hold it and you can talk about it? Yeah. I just love these ones. And this is how I start. I haven't stitched any more of these since I obviously got into stitching um, Nicholas Samplers. But the pearls are like, and the beading, and... So beautiful. Um, and the lace. So I did that work. How long does this take you to stitch, oh, Sue? Months, months. Because that's know. a huge undertaking. They are big projects, aren't they? So you know when you stitch this, did you do all the cross stitch first and then go back yes. and add the beads and, and then do the it as you went? And then the beading at the end. And the metallic threads in that one really catch the light. See, it's beautiful. Yeah, pretty. But I think these that I've stitched were on 32 count. And I remember feeling really brave. Thinking, oh, could I do 32 count? <laughs> and I'm on linen instead of Ada as well. Yeah. But this is a needlework journey. We all go through mm. these stages. Mm. You know, the first time... Um, I picked, had a piece of linen and I thought, I'll never stitch on this, I can't see where mm. to stitch. Um, but you just have to take that. Needle. You do, and once you do, and once you're brave enough to do it, and then anybody can, really can. Mm. You just you need the right magnification. If you can't see it with your own eyes, then you need glasses yeah. and magnification. But I'm, I mean, these must be 20, 25 years ago. So you haven't put the dates no, on No, I haven't, and I should have done. That's another thing you learn. You know, Put the dates on them. All sorts of things, but I would have stitched that by eye, which I don't know whether I'd be able to do now. And that's my other one that she's called Sleeping Beauty. And I think that is Mirabilia, and that is Nora Corva. It's was beautiful. The designer. And what I love about that one is the shading of the... Because these are DMC as well. Um, the shading, the colours that you get. So beautiful. Um, you know, just like, just one different colour and then mm. you just get all the lovely shading and so she's in my bedroom. I like to think I resemble her when I'm sleeping Asleep. but I'm not quite sure I do. <laughs> <laughs> Those days have gone, I might have done it years ago. <laughs> when I wake up my <laughs> it's like stuck up. <laughs> no, that's how I, I think I am, that's in oh. my mind. And then this one is the kiss. Oh. Again that's in our bedroom. And that's Mirabilia, and I think that's Nora Cobb. And I just think that is so romantic. It is. It's, it's tender. It passion. is, yes. And again, all the beading. And why I wanted to talk with you, and I don't know whether you'll be able to pick up. These are actually framed on the sticky board. Right. Because um, I was just took them to the frames before I knew about lacing and everything. And it started to come off, and it's like rippled. Can you see? I didn't, well, oh I can, you can. yes. How it's, you, I don't think that'll yeah, pick it up. See. It's like rippled and it's coming off its sticky board. Oh. So, what do I do? Do I take it out and try and peel it off the sticky board and lace it? Or do I leave it? Well, I suppose it depends how much fabric you've got to um, oh, of course, play yes. with. Was it cut? Yeah, it'll have been cut, won't it? So I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. yeah, I won't have probably enough. We'll have to. Yeah. So it might have to sit, but that's that's the difference, you see. That's, it hasn't done it on the others, but just on that one. Mm. Now, living in Cornwall, so close to the sea, the humidity levels are yeah. so high they do vary, that they? sticking things down. Mm. You know, they do lift mm. because of this high humidity. Mm. So why that? one particular, maybe it was a bit of old sticky board they used. <laughs> maybe sticky. what we need to do, Sue, is when we've got a, an afternoon free, is take it apart and mm, just have see. a little look. Because I do, I think it's really pretty. It's beautiful, I love... Well, it's because metallic it's, threads, isn't it? That's the, the thing, if it comes through. This is just so beautiful. Really, mm. really gorgeous. So I do, I do, well, but now I stitch them. So that could be Jamie and Claire. Oh, oh it could, could I've got November 23rd earmarked yes, in my diary. Goodness. There's going to be 
do not disturb sign going up and I'm going to be refreshing my Audible app when the book gets downloaded. It's been because I've read all the books years ago and I, I have watched the series but I was really disappointed with Claire because she wasn't how I, and Jamie, how yeah. I pictured them. Yeah, so they I, were as I pictured them. Either. Yeah. But I do love the um, series. Yeah, I do as well. Where is it? These are the ones. It just reminded me because I actually went to Culloden. Of course, she did. With one of these. And I actually took a photograph of the Fraser with the Which did reminds you, me of that. Did you one, send it to me on Facebook Messenger in, in Mark's account? Because I'll have to try and oh, look no, out for the don't, photo. Don't know. So I, I can insert this into I this don't video. I think I've got it. But that was. These are the ones that I've stitched from Nicholas. And not framed. We have to get these framed now. Oh, no, she's not there. The old Scott's not there. Where is she? I don't know. Upstairs somewhere. That's when I did Sarah I'll Brazier. put the photo in if I can find yeah, it. Yeah, to find it. I thought it was this is the beautiful one. one. Show this. This is, a, this is such a fabulous, fabulous song. Oh, right. Okay. This is fabulous well, as well. Oh, that one, Sarah. <laughs> oh, this is Sarah just amazing. Yeah. So that's. You know, you shouldn't hide this. Oh, no, you should I have this displayed. Look at Sue's beautiful satin stitches. Now we've got our new house, so um, I'll probably think of somewhere to put them. But that That's was done with a stitch along. Yeah. Which... That's a while ago now, isn't it? Did you, you put the date on this? Well, uh, 2019. 2019. Oh, gosh, Sue, and it's 20, nearly 2022 in a few months. Uh, Time goes so quickly. It goes faster as we get older. It does. That's so beautiful. So. And, and this is a lovely sampler. Sarah Dawes. Oh, this border nearly finished me off when I was charting I it. Bet it. Now I know more about how you do things, I don't know. But I remember coming down to see Nicola. I think when you just I got, got to us trying to yeah. I've got the perfect, perfect one for you to stitch because um, we have the cockatiels, so <laughs> Charlie cockatiels, yeah. so we've got the birdie. The sun, isn't it? It's the sun. It'll go the cloud kind of over. <laughs> and then the shells as well. Yeah, because we really. used to come down on holiday. holiday. But yeah. what I've done, and you're probably not going to be able to see it now, very faintly, I've put my mum and dad's names. Yeah, that's lovely. See if you can. I'm sure it'll pick up. Just see here. Oh, there. There. Marion Davis and Hubert Spencer because that's what it was for, and then I put here, just there. stitched by their daughter, Susan, so Mark said I should have done it in a brighter colour. I think I'd... you should. We're all so afraid of reproduction samplers, mm -hmm. not to stray from, you know, what the little girls did, but you've got to make these samplers. I know, samplers and I just put own. it like a really little, I thought, oh, that's just a subtle mm -hmm. thing. I did use one of the colours. Yeah. But I might, I might take that out and do it. Your a bit confidence greater. has grown so much more. Probably. So you would have the courage to yeah, do it. Probably would. We're so afraid that you know people are going to jump on us for doing mm. something. But it's your work. You should do what you. But I think want. it's really nice to my ever honoured parents, and so that's why I put my mm. parents in there. So. It's a sweet mm. little one. Right, that's me for. Well, I grab what I could fit in a plastic bag, so it wouldn't get wet in the rain. <laughs> so I have brought. It's upside down. May your look at nicer stuff right now. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> may your blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow, and may trouble avoid you wherever you go. Um, pass. We need a cloud to we pass do. over. So we this need was, lines in here. That's the next project. This is a very very early piece that I did, um, and I can't remember. Who it was by, I can actually see the chart now, but I just can't think. Um, and that was sort of like an exploration with some slightly different stitches and using a little charm as well. So that was, you know, I like step. the little charms that were on like the other ones. Oh, that is pretty. It is pretty, yeah. isn't it? Um, so there was Algerian eyelets. Yeah. Um, some satin stitches, some French knots, lots of. Um, double running stitch, um, 
Yeah. And um, I'm trying to think what that's called and I can't. <laughs> you can tell it's Sunday morning. <laughs> And you've had three copies as well. I have had so three copies. Be I should know these yeah. things. Well, the clocks went back last night, yeah. and of course the dogs don't realise that, so they had me up early this morning, so I had one cup of coffee there, and then Ray brought me up another cup of coffee, and that would you as well. Um, the other one I brought was um, oh, no. Amore, True Love, and that's one where we used buttons. So oh, I'm so sorry that um, the light's like this, but just little buttons, which, you know, this was a kit. Again, I can't remember who it was by or if it's still available, but that's a very, very early piece. And glass is dirty as well, I should have just I noticed that. Well, I've cleaned one, but I noticed on the Sleeping Beauties a bit. Yeah, no, that is pretty. It's pretty as well. Yeah, I like the little charms, charms buttons on yeah. there. Very nice. Very nice. Um, I've got some current work to show. Um, we're going away tomorrow. Um, Ray's got a second opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're travelling up uh, to Devon, your fingers crossed, and we, he has got another medical appointment on the Wednesday, so we're staying up there. So I needed mm -hmm. a travel project. So this is my travel bag. You need a bit of stitching to keep you sane, don't you? You do, don't you? So anyway, um, I had a project that I was going to have as a travel project, and I thought, oh, I'll just see how the um, silks are sitting on the fabric. So I thought, I'll put a few stitches in. And the next thing... <laughs> you watched me nearly finish when she brings it out. <laughs> oh, it is! <laughs> So it is it's, it's a love token and it says the most endearing ornaments of youth are modesty and truth. And I thought that was just so, so pretty. And this is an American sampler um, with an Irish background, but it was stitched in uh, Kings in Brooklyn by a, a girl who was born in the States, but her parents were mm -hmm. Irish. Um, and um, this little sampler came up for sale in the States and the shipping to the UK was so, so expensive. Um, I asked Lisa if she would um, take delivery of the sampler and charter what so that I could idea. stitch her. Because I, want this, I, I, I specifically wanted to stitch this one for my small sampler yes. wall. Yeah, yeah. This sampler wall that I'm building. Yeah. Um, so it was going to be my travel project, but this might be finished tonight. <laughs> so I have another travel project lined up. Um, I like this. Oh, you know, a lady made this for me and sent it, and it was a complete surprise. It what came in the post. Here? It's fabulous. I use this. Um, well, this is constantly in use. Yeah, what constantly. A good idea. Yeah, I love it. Um, Right. So, my travel project that I might be working on, I know, is, and I brought the originals, this. Oh, wow, they're really pretty. On paper. Oh. Um, oh, this, the sun. <laughs> you know, normally you don't complain about the sun, you know. So, this is um, a pair of samplers stitched by a brother and sister stitched on paper with silk thread and I don't know why I was surprised I expected paper to be cotton thread but this is definitely definitely silk they are pretty um, the... that's that's Martin Noah oh, Hubbard Martin and this Noah. is Emma Hubbard they're brother and sister oh, and be... they stitch them a year apart um, and one is praise ye the Lord and the other one is we praise the the O oh God, which I think is just so so. Wouldn't that beautiful. be lovely though to have well like the brother and sister? Yeah, absolutely. Which so, I would say it was unusual. I don't yeah. Know. But I found them and they're from Norfolk and there's quite a bit of um, family history available on uh, brother and sister, which I adore. Yeah, which is absolutely the framing adore. at the back. 
Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, would you, would you take these out of here to look at the backs, or would you leave? Um, well, I rather I like the colours on the front. No, this is my little travel yeah. pouch. Um, and these are the colours that I've chosen. Yeah, they are quite nice, aren't they? Hold that. I can see. These, these are really, really good matches. So, oh, hold on. No, that's the wrong one. That's the right green. Sorry, it's this sunlight. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Oh, perfectly. More. Yeah, sorry. That's those are the colours. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, we shouldn't be complaining about sunshine. No, no, we shouldn't, but we are. So those are the colours I've chosen. Um, they're really sweet. They are sweet, aren't they? That's a really, really good match to the original. Would you have a stitch on paper? Um, Who do you think to reproduce it and stitch them up there? The thing is, it's getting the paper, isn't it? Um, mm. And the colour of the size. When I go over to the States in January. Um, oh, quick, quick, quick. Oh, yes. No, some, quick, 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 quick. Yes, the purple. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. And I think they're really nice. And well, that's the green. The yeah, they're there. really they do, matches. yeah, they do stand out more, don't they? Yeah. Um, I know that she, um, the Attic Needleworks, they have got some paper. And of course, um, Claudia Dutch of Gipsler mm -hmm. and um, Vicky Jennett, um, they um, have a lot of experience of paper. They're both, you know, they live close to Jean. So I think I'll have a little chat to them, mm -hmm. see just about sizes and colours and sort of just explore more mm. about paper because I've actually in the last couple of weeks I've had another two samplers come mm. on paper mm. it's all of a sudden it's like paper 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 mm. <laughs> I wonder when paper came into being more you know the stitching yeah. somebody will know about that well one. if you're interested um, there is a workshop at the attic um, in June that Vicky mm. and Claudia uh, will put on and it's going to be a Bristol weekend but I'm sure there'll be a bit about paper in, mm. in that. It's um, be quite interesting. Yeah. I, I hope to go but I haven't told her yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I know because I want to go to summer school and there's yeah. a few other trips I want to make next year and uh, I have to be home. I think it's because we haven't been able to go anywhere. No. You feel like you want to yeah. get it Well, you've booked to go abroad, haven't you? Yeah, we're going to Cyprus. My oh. husband was in the area. Mark, I've got to say, because last time he said, oh, I've got a mention, but you didn't stay in the <laughs> So Mark, <laughs> I, we're, he was in the area, so we get a, a bunch of area friends together. They're all retired now, but um, so we get together once a year, so we're going to Cyprus. That'd be lovely. The thought of travelling again is mm. so exciting. Although I'm dreading being on an aeroplane with a mask. But you know, it's a price know, we have to pay. I've got to excited travel. already. I've bought myself a new swimsuit. And it's a year to go. It's like a year. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> adorable we're going. Oh dear Lord. I don't think I would get into my swimsuit. Um, I was packing my little bag for travelling. And I have in my bag my threads for uh, my two travel projects. And I have a pair of utility scissors. Oh, darling. Then I have a pair of my nice scissors, which I like to use for special occasions. So um, I will use that these really when I'm travelling as well. It's the case, it's a very good something. And um, I have this little tool, which I find so useful. I bought one of those when I saw it with Nicholas, and it is brilliant. So if you have to unpick, and you need to pull threads and mm. fibres out. This is a really good way of doing uh, that. Um, with the magnifier and the little light, you know, you can pick out the finest threads. That, that is so And useful. they're good for getting splinters out of your fingers. Well <laughs> That's Mark's, probably what Mark, for. Mark used it. I think they are. Yeah. That Mark used it for. Well, this is my second one because mm. somebody used my first one, mentioning no names, Ray. <laughs> And spoilt the end, so that was the second one. And I buy this off um, Amazon. Yeah, I, I got Amazon. mine on, it and it, they are really good, really yeah. useful. So that's my little travel bag. I always travel with a little notebook 
because you never know when you need to jot something down about what you're stitching, especially if it's a model. If I was stitching at home, I could go to my computer and make an alteration, but when you're away, yeah. you've got to keep a little yeah. note. Um, that's my conversion for um, the one project, so I know what threads are what. And then, of course, glasses. I can't stitch without glasses, so if I travel, I always have two <laughs> pairs of glasses <laughs> in case, because you know, it'd be awful if you, you know, something happened and you couldn't see to stitch. I haven't decided what hoop I'm going to use, so I've got my oval and my round. Oh, well, I've never seen an oval hoop. No, it's good. It's really, it's really useful. And for um, the brother and sister sampler, I'm going to stitch these on 56 count and they come out at 3.11 inches Ooh. by 3.75, so I can fit both of them in there. And then I was wondering, should I do them side by side and frame them in one piece, or should I do them separately? I haven't decided. I shall have a think. I when I'm quite like them. the idea of side by side, actually. Oh, sounds nice. Um, I brought some things to show you actually. Um, in the post yesterday was a yard of this beautiful, beautiful fabric. Um, it was only a little while ago I had another yard, but it was all Doesn't used up. Nice. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. I was going to say it's similar to what I've stitched there. Yeah, yeah it is. Very similar, very similar. Right. Yeah, now that's Lakeside. Lakeside Linen, I thought that would be. Because you brought the kit. It's from America, yeah. so it would be, wouldn't yeah, it? So that's Lakeside Linen. Yeah, but it's very similar. It isn't is similar. It? But this is um, creme brulee from uh, Tabby Cat Linen, which is sold by Mill on the Floss Samplers. And you can order this on Michelle's website, Mill on the Floss. Um, and I think that she sells it from. Um, very small pieces up to full yards. Um, the last piece, when I showed it, um, so many of my model stitches said, oh, we want to do our next mm. piece on this fabric, but that one piece, even though it was a few weeks right. ago, it's all gone, mm. all gone. Yeah. So Michelle sent me this piece, um, and um, it's beautiful. It is, I remember getting the one for Sarah yeah. when it came, thinking, oh, I'm not sure. It's it's going to look a mess, you know, because it's, but actually when you start laying the lots, mm. silk on the stitches, they, it looks beautiful. Well, um, I finished uh, a piece. Um, I don't want to show the whole sampler yet, but this little sampler um, is finished. And I actually started a, wow, another piece on it. it yeah. Isn't that sweet? It is. Are they still going to go here? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, this is my what I call my current project for at home. Um, and um, I took this off the frame because I wanted to put that one on the frame yeah, yeah. to test out the colours. So this, I hope, will be finished probably in about two weeks' time. So when I get home, I shall finish this project. Mm. Um, I do like the little, it's funny because we were talking a while ago and you said your taste has changed a little bit, hasn't mm -hmm, it? It has. From like the really big ones which are gorgeous but then just to have the nice little ones. Yeah, I yeah. think. So um, this is very, very sweet and again I'm picking projects by colour, by shape. Mm, my, yeah, that's this wall I'm building. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. So there we are. So. Um, that's this beautiful piece of linen, which I feel so lucky to have mm. managed to get. You know, when you live in the UK, you can't get linen. You the can't same. get linen the same. Um, Michelle is in France, but she's she's British, and she spends a lot of time coming back and forth to England. So, if you're in England or Europe, uh, shipping is you know straightforward and probably custom free. I expect. Um, and if you live in the States, Michelle ships to the States all the time. And if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, um, Michelle can ship to you. So, um, you know, that's a source of meaning for you. 
Um, and Michelle has some beautiful colours, you know, and she's developing new colours all the time. Um, what else have I brought to show you? Well, now this isn't my needlework, this is a friend's needlework, Ooh. which I have just stretched and laced that for her. That is very her. pretty, that's beautiful. Love this satin stitch Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. I'm going to be a, a oh, the sun system. again. Um, now, many of you will recognise elements of this sampler. No. This oh. house and these flowers and the steps have been taken from Anne Castle. And I'll put a photograph of Anne Castle in the video. Cloud, come over. <laughs> it's a very blustery day as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like, uh... um, and what my friend wanted to do was stitch a wedding sampler oh, for, um, uh, I think it's her godchild, or if it's not her goddaughter, it's a, 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 a girl that she's known and is very, very close to. And um, this sampler celebrates Rosa and Bobby's wedding, which is going to take place in December of this year. Um, and she loved Anne Castle's house because it's very similar mm. to the house that Rosa and Bobby live in. And um, she wanted the sampler to be full of meaningful things uh, to Rosa and Bobby. So we've taken elements of Anne Castle. We've put some swans in because swans um, make for life. It's undying oh, love. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of little symbolisms in here. And she's used the verse, Our love divine that made us thine shall keep us thine forever. Which is a lovely sort of... It just shows thing. you that you can take lovely elements kind of from all of these samplers. Absolutely. And just create your own. That's right. So um, she took the sort of border that's on um, Castle and modified it um, for this sampler. Um, very, very pretty. So I'm taking this to the framers and then sending it to my friends so that she can um, give it as a wedding present. And that's a that's very, a very special wedding present. It? Yeah. It is. So really, really lovely. Yeah. Um, and um, my friend has um, marked her sampler, please, um, rather than put her own name on. So she signed it by using a what little motif. Gosh, you know, I don't think I thought of that. Yeah. Well, Moira Blackburn, like you know, I've stitched so many of Moira Blackburns. She always used to incorporate her hair into ah, the sampler, which was like her yeah. signature. And I think that's so. What a nice idea! Yeah. 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 So I'm not going to say my friend's name because she likes to keep a low profile. But if you think about it, you should work out who that oh, is. Oh, she's your friends as well. <laughs> I know it is now. Yes, I thought. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> so there we are. But it just goes to show you do not have to um, stitch a whole sampler. You can take elements mm. um, from samplers mm. and combine them. Hello, Mark. Oh, he's <laughs> filming us. Oh, no, Max is. Sorry to interrupt, but Max is on the. So oh, hi, Max. Sorry, grandson. <laughs> I heard the park going. Anyway. Goodbye, right. so. oh, sorry. So, um, I just thought I would show you know what you can do. And I know from what my friend has told me that Rose is going to cherish this mm, sampler. Yeah, she will. Yeah. So, um, you know, we hope that their love will be un undying and they will be partners for life mm. as well. That's beautiful, that. Yeah. I remember I did my friend, um, it would have been Mirabilia again, or Lavender and Lace, perhaps. Oh, I love Lavender and um, Lace. A Victorian bride. But it was quite a big, that you know, quite a big one to give as a present. Yeah. You, people have got to think, but that is a nice little one, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, and... Um, she thought a lot about um, the colours for the swans and actually on the fabric when I was lacing it yesterday I could see all her test oh, squares yeah. for the colours and my friend went for this lovely fresh colour because their love is new. Oh, what a nice idea. Yeah. And it shines bright, yeah. love. Really, really special. So a lot, 
that's what people don't realise, mm -hmm. the, the background thought that yeah. goes into things. And what uh, our friend is going to do, she's going to actually write um, a letter with oh, the present, okay. um, explaining a lot that goes behind yeah. it, and hopefully that will live behind the song, be nice, you know, yeah. and, and generations in the future. I've we'll started it. looking at antique samples, not that mm -hmm. I know what I'm looking at, but I was just look at, you know, curious book. And there was one, and it, it was from 1720, I think, and on the back, was all the family history something written, wonderful. like the family tree. Yeah, that's sweet. Which I thought that was a nice idea to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, sometimes when you buy something at auction online, you just see the front, mm -hmm. and then when it comes and you see something written on the back, oh my heart, I it's it's good, yeah. <laughs> it really, really yeah. does. Yeah. Um, I bought this book. Oh, this book. Um, it is a. Uh, 50 Essential Blackwork Patterns by Chrissy Juno Man. Oh gosh, this light. Can you see it there? If not, I'll write this on uh, video. Um, and this book is packed full of... Oh gosh, different motifs. Different motifs mm -hmm. or patterns for blackwork. Um, I love blackwork. I love... Um, we both love Sudoku's and the grand yes, word do. puzzles. And when I stitch black work, I always set myself a goal of, um, you know, working out the most economical, mm. logical path. And it's great, you know, it's a great mental exercise. Um, so I bought that book. I was very, very pleased with it. And um, it came within about two days. Mm. Uh, it's a new book. Um, and if you um, wish to buy the book, the website is www.cloudjuno.co.uk So, I thought that was a nice little addition. I have to one bit of black work. And you do have to think, don't you? And I, because I didn't really think about it, and I started stitching, I stitched myself into a, a corner corner. trap, and I thought, oh no, I can't, because I can't get back. go back. Yeah. So, if you just want to stitch and not think about it, cross stitch, mm -hmm. if you want to have to think, or you do have to think a bit about cross stitch, but that yeah. work really is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good fun, though. Mm -hmm. Good fun. And with books, especially needlework books, because there isn't a huge, huge market for mm -hmm. them. Quite often, needlework books are only available for a short time, and when they're gone, they're gone. So I tend to buy books as soon as I mm -hmm. see them. Um, because when I first started needlework, so many of the books that I saw people talk about, they'd actually, they were out of print. Mm -hmm. um, so I always do that. And if I go to an exhibition, I always buy an exhibition catalogue, always. Nicola has got a lot of books. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I've had, we're having a sort out, oh, okay. as you know, yes. <laughs> or as Mark knows. <laughs> yes, we've got the sailing books. books. Yes, <laughs> we're getting a boat next year. So. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's created some space. In, in oh, well, more books then? You've got yeah, because it's in our bookcase, but as I've taken Ray's sailing books out, it's created more space for me, so it's becoming my bookcase. <laughs> um, I brought... Um, Ruth Gibbs down to um, Sue, mm -hmm. um, so that you can work out where you're going to hang her in your home. I know, I need to, we, we went, I had a little wander around, didn't we, found yeah. a few stuff. I need some more smaller ones, I think, mm -hmm. so I've got a little old mirror, in yeah. the, and we should thought they'd go around. It'd look nice. So, and, uh, and like an old artwood. Um, yeah, so what we were cabinet. planning was another red sampler, mm -hmm. um, but in this orientation, so that They'll, the two will sit together. Uh, do any of you choose your projects by where you're going to actually uh, hang them? We'd be very interested mm, to hear yeah. that. I think that as I've been running out of space, I've had to choose projects by shape yeah. and, and yeah. You know, size. Well, I did Sarah Brazier for the old house, then we moved, and then you knew exactly where she was going to go, so I'm not sure where she's going to go now, but I did, and the colours as well, because we've got that teal colour, mm -hmm. haven't we? Yeah. And then a bit of a pink mm. for us, so I did choose, I did think, when I saw her, I thought, oh yeah, that one, I'll know exactly where that's going to go. Mm -hmm. 
So, I think that's probably all that mm. I brought to um, talk about. Yes, I don't think you've got... I like your bags. <laughs> I'm seeing a bag. <laughs> I'm getting ready for Christmas. Moving <laughs> through the snow. <laughs> yeah. No boxes on here, though. Yeah. I love the little dachshund on there. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> So, in fact, I'm going to Tesco's afterwards. Oh, are you? Yes, as we're going away, I've got to stock up on food for the dogs yes. while we're away. I need to get fuel for our journey tomorrow um, with Ray being incapacitated. Um, there's so many more things I'm having to do. We noticed that fuel prices have really gone up. Oh, dreadful. Yeah. Dreadful. I don't think it's too bad at supermarkets. Mm. But in the UK at the moment, I think it's one pound and fifty pence per litre. Now, how many litres for a gallon? Mm. Four points, something, is it? So, say it was four. I don't know. So, that's going to be like six pounds a gallon. Yeah, well, it'd be a bit lot. more than six pounds mm. a gallon. It's a lot. <laughs> I know, everything. Oh, I just remembered with you saying in the UK, to all our American friends, uh, last month we were in Plymouth. Uh, my brother-in-law's got a boat and we were sat on the marina and looked out to the Mayflower Steps on Plymouth. You on the back back. I did take a photograph. And I thought, oh, that will be of interest. Yeah. From where the Mayflower, I think it's, somebody will correct me now, I think it's 1620, September 1620, something like that. You'll be okay if that comes up in a Oh, well, yeah, yes. get ready. Uh, that's where reportedly that the Mayflower sailed from. So we went to the, the quiz at the golf club this oh, we week. Did. We didn't do very well. No. We were wiped out <laughs> the last round. I know. The last round, there's, there's 10 questions and yeah. something like that. And if you get one wrong, you lose all your um, points for that round. So you could lose 10 points if you'd have got them all. Mm. So you got wiped what, out what, again. What, which one were we wiped out on? I can't remember now. It was who did the Curious Creatures series oh, yeah. and I thought it was Chris Pack and it wasn't it was Kate Hall. Never mind. We have you have to have a go. So have now go. we're uh, I, I know all the names of the reindeers. I know <laughs> the twelve days of Christmas. Got the three kings we're gonna so we're trying to and think what of gifts they're bringing. We're trying to think of all the things we need to swap yeah. up on for the next quiz. It's only just for fun but we're taking it quite we're seriously. Taking it very seriously. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> then you keep the old one, but that might come up, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was a really good night on Wednesday night. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. We did good enjoy fun. it a lot, so there yeah. we are. Um, okay, well, I'm sure that we're probably starting to bore you all. So um, we're going to have another cup of coffee now and a little bit more of a walk around to decide where Ruth, Ruth is going, going to hang in Sue's home. Yes. Yeah. It's, you, you did very well with that. That's beautifully really stitched. Pretty. Beautifully really stitched. Thing, so. yes. And she's been very popular. We're starting to see people posting their start on Ruth. That's what I like about the little samplers now. You can start and finish them in a reasonably quick amount of time, mm -hmm. can't you? Yeah. And then yeah. you can get the result, whereas the bigger ones take, take a long time. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to my next, well, the next the project the next that I'm one. doing now. Yeah. Oh, have you done any more this week? Just a little bit. I've been quite busy this week, but yes, I've done. But because we'll, we'll, there's a colour in it, isn't there? That oh, you, yeah. I need to <laughs> need as well. So I've finished that colour. Yeah. Um, so I've done a little bit more on her. So I hope to get her finished in the next couple of weeks. Wonderful. You've got your next project. I know up. Nicola's brilliant. She finds all these nice. And you're very generous actually because you don't keep them off yourself do you and you sort of look at one and think oh that's got a really lovely bit of history about it sue would like to yes. do that and so you're very good at on sue's people. next project she's going off to india i think it's we, we, we think don't we? we're mm -hmm. pretty sure that there's yeah so that's going to be really the yeah. east india company and i'm yeah. really looking forward to yeah, that very very interesting so like, stitch this one. i don't know whether brush a project but I'm looking forward to getting on to and you've been to india hadn't you? i did yeah, yeah. 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 I, went, I went on my own actually well a package tour, but I was on my own. So it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to go to India. I really, really would. Mm. Really would. It was 88, I think. Mm. 
I want to see all the colours and the heat and the, and the, the noise of India. And everything. Yeah. We, I went to the Taj Mahal, mm -hmm. which was beautiful. I want to go to the Golden Palace. Oh, That's what I want to see. And I so, went round the market, Chani Chok or something in Delhi. Never thought, just went out on my own, never told anybody where I was going. I got in this cycle rickshaw and we went deeper and deeper into the market and I thought, oh, nobody knows I'm here. I was the only white lady. Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> No, I did get back. Yeah. I've got some, besides the piece you're going to do, I've actually got two other pieces um, that were stitched in India. And the other two are by the same little girl, and her father was in the British Army stationed oh, yeah. in India. Um, I'll have to show you those. Mm. I'll have to dig those out. Yeah. Um, Can I have an Indian wall? Yeah. Oh, an Indian wall. <laughs> With three soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> wrap up and yes. um, we suddenly remembered that today is Halloween and we meant to do this on our video. <laughs> so it's a very American in that really. and you can get a little treat out of it quickly. <laughs> anyway happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. <laughs> I'm going to have to count these now, I can tell you I'll be yeah. <laughs> Bye!